Hey there guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I'll just be going over something really quick. So uh, you may have seen a recent video where I bought a old netbook uh, from the flea market and I initially tried to install Windows 10 on it and that was a mistake. Um, I did do that in that video, uh, not in depth, but um, just to show that the performance was garbage and it's not worth <laughs> trying at all. Um, but I was looking for Windows XP and I came across this uh, Windows XP Professional Integral Edition. Uh, however, I don't have the I don't have this most up to date version that they have here. But I thought it was kind of interesting. So um, it has a kind of different installation process than regular Windows XP does. Uh, when you get um, so this will be the this is kind of how the desktop looks, and I'll show you that more in depth in just a moment on the actual computer there. Um, but when you actually get done with the main installation, it comes up with this option selector, and you can install a bunch of different things here. Uh, so some of the things are um, this thing called Pot Player. I have no idea. It looks like it's just a media player uh, in general. You've got a GPT loader, uh, additional Windows XP themes, driver packs, program tweaks, Windows XP tweaks, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, when I did it, I just chose the t the default, and it just it took a hot minute to install. But um, you can download this from this website, zone62.com, and it has uh, an ISO disk image. It's only 697 megabytes, not really big at all. Uh, and then they have a little uh, summary here. So it basically just says, it includes all the latest Windows XP and POS Ready 2009 updates and hotfixes until uh, June 11th, uh, 2019, and also automatically receives new Windows XP POS Ready 2009 updates until at least April 2019, and no Windows activation or crack or CD key is needed. Um, it says also included are over 350 megabytes of additional LAN, WLAN, chipset, uh, SATA, AHCI, and NVMe drivers including some themes, runtimes, patches, fixes, tweaks, and some other programs and pre-configured settings. The help file is also included in the uh, ISO disk folder uh, with lots of useful information such as how to install Windows XP with the USB flash drive and uh, how to integrate your own SATA AHCI drivers and much more. And then down below here it gives you a change log and this is for the current one. The one I have up is believe is uh, from two, uh, November 2019 is the one I believe that I got. So it's kind of interesting. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. So this is the website, as I said. So if you want to download this and try this for yourself, uh, feel free. It looks like it's updated pretty often. Um, I mean, today is March 16th, and this is from March 15th. So pretty up to date. Anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, go to the computer now and show you how that looks. So we got the ugly old netbook here. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and plug it in. And it usually boots by itself whenever I plug it in. So. So the crazy thing is that at first glance it looks like a regular just stock version of Windows XP when it boots, but then it has this kind of black theme to it, which kind of looks really nice. Um, but I'll show you the uh, kind of interesting additions that they've made to this. So here's the desktop, and this is how it comes up every time. Uh, now, I don't know why it has to ask for all this every time, but it does. So just have to click Run each time. So um, this is basically what you're presented with, uh, minus the Chrome. I downloaded that by myself. Uh, but yeah, see, so it just keeps asking all these things. This might be from the drivers that I had to install for this to work. So go ahead and zoom in here so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. Anyway, so um, here's what's included. So you have my documents, my computer, my network places, uh, Basilisis, Baslizic, I can't say it. Uh, Pop player, which I said, which uh, just seems kind of funny, but it seems like it's a media player. So let's see what that looks like when it starts here. But you kind of can see this nice little black theme that they have around here, no wallpaper whatsoever. And this is our pop player here. So it just looks, it just looks like a media player and you can browse through so you can go through your own files to find music and movies and I guess that kind of thing and then oh of course it's telling me there's a new version all right let's uh let's not do this right now but anyway here's your options here so it looks like it plays videos and audio so that's kind of cool uh so this thing let's see what this is because I don't know what it is uh, but you can see it's down here in the task or in the uh quick links also so we got that and the pop player 
Uh, now it says that it includes a bunch of different. Oh, okay, so this must be. Oh, it must be. It's a browser. It looks like Serpent. Oh, okay, Serpent. So it's a browser. Interesting. So it looks like it's a fork of Firefox, just based off what I can see here. So like I said, I didn't have to download Chrome. So maybe it's a more up-to-date version of, uh, or a, a version of Firefox that will work on this that won't, you know, tell you it's out of date constantly. But uh, I did have to install drivers myself for this to work, which kind of sucked. But um, you can see it's really not very fast. But yeah, so that definitely looks like a uh, looks like Firefox. Maybe an older version. Let's see what. Can we see what version it is? Preferences, maybe? Let's close that. And the web page is taking a lot to load. So this is an old netbook, by the way. It's very, very, very old. Does not work very well, and it sucks. Um, advanced? I don't know. Where else will we find the update? Hmm. OK, so I have no clue what this is. It just says Serpent. So it's just called Serpent. That's kind of interesting. So it was just, uh, it was not, all right. Yeah, so we're good there. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. And then we have, like I said, this, this black bar at the bottom here. Nice uh, black look to the start menu as well. Uh, so let's see what else we are, have included here. So uh, we have Microsoft Update, Update Catalog, 7-Zip. That was one of the pre-installed things you could choose from. We have accessories, and this looks pretty stock, like uh, Windows XP. Uh, Pop Player by Dam, <laughs> Dom Games. So these are all the games. These are pretty typical. Of course, if you don't like pinball, there's something wrong with you. Let's just see. Yeah, so we've got our pinball right there. Uh, for some reason, sound doesn't work on this because I guess I got the wrong driver, but that could be me, my own fault there. All right, so then we have IMDisk, and I'm not sure what that is. Virtual disk driver, mount image file. Uh, under startup, we have this ms.net framework, Windows WinXP slow boot fix. Uh, under unlocker, let's see what this is. Uh, how often have you tried to delete or rename a file and got cannot delete, it's being used by another program? Okay, which will help you overcome the scandalous Windows bug. That's kind of cool, actually, because I've seen that before. And then we have USB UVC camera device, which I think is something I installed. Then we have BitLocker to go, which is kind of cool. So it's really, it's pretty bare bones. Uh, so, but it, it seems to run pretty well. Let's take a look at what's uh, what's included in this in the visuals department here. So. Um, under the themes, this is called Zune Final V1.0, and then you actually have a bunch of different uh, different themes here. So we have Black Mesa uh, 2.0. That's kind of interesting. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We've got Cha Ninja Style 1.0 RC5, and actually, it's changing the themes pretty quickly. So that's pretty cool. All right, that's actually kind of cool looking. Uh, we have Disney, It's a Magical World V2.0. Oh, oh, that one has a wallpaper with it. Oh, wow, okay. Wow. Oof, that is, that's for a child. <laughs> uh, Luna Element Black, version 5.1 plus CSS. Okay, so that looks pretty similar to the other one, except the start button looks a little bit different, as you can see there. That start menu looks a little bit different as well, but it still looks pretty nice. All right, we have Windows XP, which hopefully is, yeah, that looks just like the basic Windows XP. Yep, back to the blue and green, the normal look of Windows XP. We've got Neo Geni X LS. All right, that's another cool looking one there. Kind of interesting how they have that, and you can see the mouse pointer changed too. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm feeling that. Uh, we have Royale Remixed version 1.47, and that one looks in, that one looks like a kind of blue color. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, I'm sure. Well, maybe it is. No, you can kind of see it. So that's kind of cool. We have um, Windows 7 Colors v1.1 Black, 
As you can see, it look they made it look like the arrow theme kind of thing. Let's see. Wow. Okay, that's kind of impressive. Oh, and they even changed the. Wow, that's impressive. We have blue. So these must all be the same, but just different colors. Brown for some reason. Green. Violet. All right, and then we got Windows Classic. And Windows Classic, we know what that looks like, so that's gonna be our most basic look. We have uh, Windows XP Embedded. I'm not sure what the... Oh, does that actually have a wallpaper too? Wow. <laughs> that's actually kind of a cool blue, I like that. I kind of like that color, not gonna lie. Uh, we have Zune Final, that's the one we just were running, so that's the one that came out. And then you can browse for your own theme. Uh, under desktop here, we only have a couple of different things, a couple different wallpapers. So we have the Bliss wallpaper, of course. We have the Windows XP Pirated Edition, and then the Windows XP Embedded, which was that one that we just had. But funnily enough, when I first looked at this, the only two that came up were the Pirated Edition and then Bliss, but as soon as I checked that theme, that other one came in. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, as far as the screensavers, looks like nothing is different here. You've got like the same, the same ones that were included before nothing crazy there so everything looks the same there uh, your appearance you can change that also and you can go between those uh, settings here for some reason it thinks maybe I have two monitors which I don't it's kind of weird but anyway so that's how that looks um, aside from that I don't really know what else is included here um, it does have a recommended programs list here on the desktop and uh, these are some of the recommended uh, programs here. So VeraCrypt, Mail News, OpenOffice, CD Burner XP, Pinta, MyPaint, PandaDome, Linux Reader, and they have a uh, they have on their website. You know, go to the website for more more programs. So it's kind of cool. It's just a kind of modded version of Windows XP. Just wanted to show you guys this real quick and give you an idea how how different it is. Um, but as far as I can see, uh, it runs really nice. Uh, hopefully that browser is up to date and can handle, you know, for a while. Because uh, if you try downloading Google Chrome or Firefox now, it's just going to tell you that it's going to go out of date soon. And it basically is out of date already because it's not been updated for years uh, since XP went out of um, went out of service or end of life in 2014. So. Anyway, if you have an old machine or you want to try this on a virtual machine, uh, head out to that website. I'll leave a link, to, link down below if you want to try it. And uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please leave me a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.